Lady Justice Kalpana Rawal's appearance before the Parliamentary Committee on Justice and Legal Affairs comes three months after the Judicial Service Commission nominated her to the post of Deputy Chief Justice. A long delay as she waited for the 11th Parliament to begin proceedings. Appearing before the Parliamentary Committee chaired by Ainab Koi MP Samuel Chepkonga, Rawal had to deal with claims that she has been in the judiciary to safeguard the executive arm of government's interests with regard to high-profile cases. Some of them include chairing the Commission of Inquiry into the helicopter crash that killed the late Minister Professor George Saitoti and Assistant Minister Orwa Ojode in June 2012, as well as four police officers. Another one is handling the murder case of university lecturer Dr. Crispin Bai and also how she awarded three million shillings to lawyer George Oraro as compensation for defamation against former MP Gor Sungu, who linked Oraro to the late Robert Ooko's death. Gor Sungu then chaired a parliamentary committee probing the death of Ooko in the ninth parliament. That in all these cases, uh, which in some way passed, through your hand, there has been a lot of heat and no light. Hence, the question the committee is asking is whether indeed you are, as some people deem, a gatekeeper for the executive. I will emphatically deny that I am a gatekeeper. <laughs> emphatically deny. Kor Sungu himself had attended the vetting today, although he did not participate. There was no question on the death of uh, our, our, I think, most uh, respected uh, uh, leader. There was nothing. It was a simple defamation matter. It is not the substance of those discussions. Yeah. Is it by coincidence that every time there is a, a, an exciting issue, Judge Rawal is called upon to superintend? That's the issue. Some people just told me, and I think it is, maybe it could be off the record, that because of my skin, I will not be seen to be on any of the sides. And that's why, and plus my competency and expediency, I, 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 was, I was selected for that. Should I be saying no, that now, because I have done uh, Mr. Bai's matter, because I have done Mr. Aoko's matter, ask for some other judge to do it when your conscience is clear. Rawal's demeanor in court was also questioned. Could, could, could the pressure of work have led you to uh, being harsh to the litigant before you? I, I think sometimes you pay for your competence or you pay for your even, um, even honesty. The appellate judge said the backlog of cases still remains the major thing that ails the judiciary and promised to speed up the process of appointments. Rawal seeks to assume an office that was vacated after former Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Barraza resigned in October last year after being found to have engaged in gross misconduct by a tribunal that recommended her removal. Well, the Legal Affairs Committee will now proceed to write a report on Rawal's suitability which they will table in Parliament by Tuesday where her disapproval or her approval will then follow. Hussein Mohammed Citizen Weekend in Nairobi.